I heard you had a new album out. Uh, will you tell me something about yeah, it? Yeah, we're um, we're working on a sort of a long-term project. This will, this album will take us longer to do than our average albums. It's uh, called Shrimp for Ash. It's more of a um, mystical album, the more emotional. Uh, it's kind of dark, tribal, it's electronic, it's punk, it's metal, it's everything. Um, Did your style change by any chance? Did I start what? The style. Compared yeah, it's a, different, style, it's a different style than our style. other styles. It definitely is a different style. Um, mm -hmm. I've brought in all different kinds of guests. Everybody that I knew who played an instrument, I brought in guest guitarists, guest percussionists, plus the average lineup that we've been using with our Gimme Sparks and um, Robert Avakian. We're doing a um, cover tune of the Rolling Stones song, 2000 Light Years From Home. It's kind of, um, um, it's, it's my favorite song uh, off the Stones. Early Stones, I like the early Stones, not the later Stones. The uh, Brian Jones ever, obviously. Top yeah. shape, uh, hopefully the band is. Um, we plan on playing Poland, Germany, Italy. We've got a couple of uh, requests to play these countries and I'd rather play Europe, to tell you the truth, than America. America's kind of um, fucked up. It doesn't have its shit together musically. And uh, I think Europe has a better uh, supporting look or looks looks to the arts and supports the arts more than America does. America's more interested in selling everything. Yeah, that's right. And they are more interested in just like having fun, not to think about... Making money, and all this yeah, bullshit, and yeah. Good Europe seems very earthy to me, very down to earth. I mean, obviously I was born in England. Um, I like Europe better. Um, I've never considered myself an American. And I've always wondered why I don't feel like I fit in here or struggle to fit in to high school like everybody does. And even out of high school, uh, whatever job I had, I just didn't seem to get along with um, American people, I'm not saying I fought with them, but um, they just had a different attitude and outlook on life than um, than I do. So all about money? I think so in America. I think capitalism is the number one thing, and the, the government makes it that way. I mean, you need money to get a car, an apartment, to, to do anything. Um, so, I mean, in Europe it doesn't seem like that. It seems like uh, you can live on a lower, a lower income, but you can't live well on a lower income, but maybe happier. I've been on a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you're obviously not American, no. so you. <laughs> I don't know what your opinion is on America. Uh, yeah, I can. I can see what you're saying about they showing them they are the Americans and you're not. And I can see how it can be different since you. Yeah, I mean, obviously, wherever I go, I look yeah. different. I mean, I look different <laughs> to begin with, and that's intentional. But um, yeah, beyond right. beyond the bias of look, me judging me, you know, as they see me, I, I mean, I think that's and normal anyways. You put a lot into the music of uh, this Yeah, um, since I've had to come off my uh, hiatus, my eight or ten years of... Uh, yeah face it, drug addiction, sex, all that crap. Yeah. Um, I decided to go back into music because I, I actually got tired of all the, um, you know, uh, decadent lifestyle and I missed the music. The leading nowhere. Uh, we did some, we did do some music in those 10 years, but um, we didn't really market it or put too much behind it. The people I was working with anyways. I mean, most then, of the tracks are me by myself, but I did have other people collaborating with me. And then you have a really, really good website these days. Tell me about uh, your uh, website. Website? Oh, yeah. um, it's called the John Z. Wiz Appreciation Society. Um, I ran into this guy by accident just surfing the net. Somebody put a girlfriend who was yeah. was angry at me at the time, put my phone number on the... <laughs> 
on the internet and uh, I got a lot of calls. Yeah. Uh, he was one of them, Brad Miller. That's very nice. Yeah, I, I and saw you. I checked out his it's website I mean. and I decided, I mean, I didn't even have a computer at the time. So I decided to start giving him things and see what he would do with them. And he, he got as prolific as me as far as building his website. Yeah, he's like a member. He is a member. I consider him a member. Right on. Um, you know, I sort of fell into the decadent lifestyle. It was it was me feeling well, sorry happens, for myself. Right? They said shit happens. Yeah, shit happens. I mean, I became an addict. I be, yeah. you know, uh, I had the money, so I, I it wasn't like your average addict. I didn't have to go out and struggle and steal and prostitute myself. I mean, I had musical royalties and. You know, and I had money, and I had an apartment. It takes so. a different direction, anyways. It takes away from music or things. But yeah, I, I mean, everybody thinks drugs are cool. Music then, though, per se. But if you have no control, I mean, it's like booze. You know, you see people who have no control with booze. It's the same thing with drugs. You know, if you have no control and no direction and no focus, you're gonna be an idiot. You know, we we've got a, an advance from a German record label called Vinyl Demand and um, they just released a box set a uh, four or five album box set with a single and a book and uh, it's all early the first six years of Sleep Chamber so it's called it six, six, six. yeah CD? it's vinyl it's four wow. or five albums and uh, with the advance he gave me I was I had enough to put down on a 24 track studio you haven't found it Yeah, I mean, we've got all the <laughs> equipment before that, but we needed the main recorder to uh, to do the multiple tracks. I mean, instead of going yeah. in, we were going into studios that were 8 and 16 track, and uh, they, they were letting me do it on credit, and I ended up in debt. And so I've just about paid them off. Yeah, this way, no worries. Yeah, so I don't have to go to a recording studio anymore. I've got oh, it at home. Great. And there will be three different volumes. It's a CD, and it's an anthology to the the last 30 years that I've been doing Sleep Chamber. So it'd be a greatest three greatest hits packages of um, 30 years. You know, the first one's uh, songs. The second one will be all our instrumentals, and the third one will be a combination. I mean, we do years. two different styles of music. You know. Yeah. We do the gothic. Especially this new one. It's a big, big Yeah, big I mean, the, it sounds a lot the Shirin Fresh is, I think, is going to break some, some records. And I think it's for the better. Yeah. In my opinion. Good. It's a lot better. Uh, interview Thank and, you. Uh, hopefully, we we'll see you around in Europe. In, uh, uh, interview Thank and, you. Uh, hopefully, we we'll see you Hopefully we we'll see you around in Europe in the uh, near future. Yeah, I'll be over to see you soon. Sooner than I think. Huh? Goodbye, everyone. Thank you, John.